What's up, y'all? Got a West Coast story. And I'm, so, I'm sure it's something everybody can relate to that grew up in a, let's say, an urban area. And um, this can happen anywhere, but I, growing up in Southeast San Diego, I had these two buddies. I'm not going to say their names. Again, I'll change their name, I'll say. One is, um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I just call one E and I call the other one, um, uh, let's see, Jake, E and Jake. Well, uh, <laughs> this dude, Jake, was the type of dude that, uh, he kind of didn't fare so well with the ladies. He didn't have a lot of game as they call it. So my buddy E would throw these like little get togethers, not really parties, you know, just get together, you know, hang out, have fun, play spades or dominoes, that type of thing. You know, like in Boys in the Hood, domino. <laughs> anyway, uh, the dude Jake, he liked to, um, I guess because he'd flirt around with the girls that are at the gathering. I guess he'd get frustrated because he was getting nowhere. So after a while, he'd take his frustrations out on my boy E. So <laughs> this dude would just make up all kind of stories that weren't even true. And he'd be going on and on, you know, trying to embarrass E in front of the girls, I guess, thinking that'll get him a number or some attention. But <laughs> this dude had the nerve to tell a story about being in public somewhere and he said something like uh he couldn't they were somewhere and he couldn't find my buddy so he went to <laughs> he went to the bathroom and um i guess he was he was in the bathroom stall or something and he said he he like i guess looked under the stall and said he had his whole clothes <laughs> said he had all his clothes in a pile <laughs> and his shoes too like <laughs> My buddy was like, dude, who would do that? Like, I'm gonna take my shoes off in a public <laughs> I'ma take my shoes off in a public bathroom. He said his <laughs> he said his shirt, his pants, his socks, his shoes, everything was just in a pile. This dude just making up stories, you know, telling the girls this and stuff, trying to get a laugh. My buddy's like, okay, I'ma get them back. So, you know, <laughs> you know, different functions, you know, he would say something about him or something, but I'm just like, did y'all have any homies like that? They just would, you know, try to show out in front of somebody else, you know, if the opportunity presented itself like, oh, here's some girls. Let me see if I can uh, get some laughs or maybe the laughs will lead to a number. But I mean, I don't see who to believe that. Like a dude in a public bathroom is going to have his shoes, socks off, shirt, clothes in the bottle <laughs> in a public bathroom. Oh, my gosh. I <laughs> I grew up with some wild dudes. <laughs> oh, man. People probably wouldn't do that in their own bathroom, let alone a public bathroom. Think about it. Like I said, everything in the pile. T-shirt. If you had a tank top under that. Pants, underwear, shoes, socks, all in the pile. Public bathroom. Bare feet on the public bathroom floor. Oh, man, and they supposed to be your homie, and he's going to tell a story like this to get some girls, man. That's pretty low. That's what you call dirty macking. <laughs> anyway, if you guys have any stories, um, share them in the comments section. Make sure you beat down the like button, comment, share, subscribe, and be fearless. Yay, yay. Oh.